morning friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living and it is Wednesday morning. I don't know, I hit snooze a million times. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I stuck my head in the kids' room and I said, Cinnamon Toast Crunch! Because <laughs> if you've seen my last video, I ended up going to town last night to get the little tube thing. I have to fix the water pump today. And I stopped at the grocery store and got some junky food, but one of them was Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And they're all excited about it. Can I have that for breakfast in the morning? I said, yep. So, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Hopefully that'll snap them awake. And I'll just pour them a bowl. I don't get that very often. Oh, that's all straight sugar. But, what you gonna do? Anyways, I'm just taking her for a little... God, that scared me. A little jaunt. Um, yeah, it's cold out, but not as cold as yesterday. I think it's supposed to get as cold as yesterday, like minus 14. But, or, I don't know. I have to check. I don't know what kind of bird that is. I heard it. You heard it. She looked at me like, what's that? Oh, so anyways, I'll meet you when we get back to the house. There's no wood in the wood box. I'll have to get the kids to fill it up again today, but I'll get a couple of sticks from the basement. We burned it like pretty much a whole box in a day and a half. Because we just needed to. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, he's out there doing his stuff. Bowl of cereal at his side. Misha's right there. Violet's right here. My coffee's right here. And yeah, I'm just waiting for him to be done and stuff. Alright guys, well I had a shower. I didn't fix that tube downstairs, but I taped up the hole for now with electrical tape. I want to try to fix it maybe when Marquise gets home because I don't want to go into it and not be able to do anything about it but while I have the pump switched on it's not leaking now um, I have the wash going the dishwasher going and when Mace is done he's gonna have a quick rinse I'm not gonna fill the tub but just a quick rinse so I can clean them up I'm all shiny because of the cream I put on Misha's out there doing gym and yeah yeah just trying to get it, it all done as soon as possible so I can shut the pump off again so it can rest Ooh. All right, guys, it's lunchtime. Maze is over there. He's in some fresh jams at a rinse. Eating some pizza bites for lunch. That's what Mazaya's having, too. Misha's making some of those spicy noodles I bought yesterday. She's going to try those. Manly just came downstairs, and my brother-in-law's just got here. They're going to help me out with the water pump, so thank the Lord for that, because I'm telling you, that was quite intimidating for me. I think I could do it, but I just don't want to do it and not be able to... Complete it okay. all in one go. Yeah. Oh, these are those spicy noodles. You didn't put all the spice in it, did you? You told me. Well, not I told you not to, but I can never tell what you're gonna do. Well, I got her to taste it. She said it was spicy. I said, don't put all the spice in then, because it's supposed to be super spicy. But there's some sesame seeds and whatever else is there. And yeah. Anyway, some chopsticks to boot. Maze is going to try those noodles. This is Misha's bowl, but I said just try one. Oh, that tastes like the noodles. I dipped a noodle in there. Did you? And there was like a tiny, tiny bit. There. Maze has a good tolerance for spice, though, so we'll see. I wouldn't do a whole... <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Uh, like... He can take spice. You can take spice too, but it's like... Is that spicy? Oh. A little bit. Oh, a sure. little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, I ate more than you ate. I know you did. Huh. You can have another one if you want. You could, that? you could eat that. Oh, just a sec. We're fixed. We're fixed. Woohoo. It's, like, it's like if you strain something. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, oh, those two are geniuses. Geniuses, I tell you. They can fix just about any darn thing. They really can, so exciting. Anyways, Misha's 
Well, Mace was eating some noodles. Misha's eating the rest of her supper last night. She had some of the noodles, but yeah. What's that noise? All right, I just have to show you. Misha asked what we could have for dessert. I said some marble loaf. So she went and cut it herself. Just gotta see this. Thank you. Love ya. Um, yeah, she cut right in the middle. Right in the freaking middle. Misha Lee Rose. It was the best part. <laughs> yeah. Right in the middle. Jeepers. All right. I got some wet towels to hang up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Misha wanted to have a little snack, so she made herself a fruit tray. Isn't that fancy? All right, friends. It's 2 o'clock. I haven't checked in in a little while, but... I'm just figuring out what I'm going to do for supper. So I think I'm going to do these kebabs I just took out of the freezer. So they're frozen. 50% um, off. 50% off. There's eight in each pack. So I'll do those. Those don't take very long in the oven at all. And I have some batsmati rice. 50% off. And I'll do up some egg rolls to go along with it. So right now I think I'm going to do a pot of rice. Uh, just so that'll be done, and then the rest will just be sticking a couple of cookie sheets in the oven with kebabs and egg rolls. Okay, friends. It's, what time is it? 4.22. I'm going to start doing these kebabs. I was just talking to my husband. But, ooh, I smell something in the air. Well, do you smell that? gonna fix you guys you're a little you're a little cockeyed is that better you smell it don't you I do oh excuse my language but I smell a shit storm coming I'm serious I just watched that live feed of the provincial update and stuff and um, yeah so kids do go back to school next week but I don't know how I feel about it to be honest we're in a peak right now I just I'm venting a little bit right now Nova this is the worst Nova Scotia has ever been I believe and skedaddle I don't need your nose up all around here oh look how well this one's behaving it's okay anyways yeah one rampant I gotta say, all over this province. Now, what's the. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this. But. It's right at my back door, all the way, all, all over everywhere these days. We're, now, get going, Violet. You're not getting this. I know it smells good, but you're not getting it. And I really was expecting for the kids to be out of school, at least till the end of the month. But now they go back. And... Oh gosh, I need to get this open all the way. They hung up. Mm -hmm. I wish I could help when I pick up No, I'm, ha I'm having grown folk talk now, hon. So, you can go on out and I'll tell you when, when supper's ready, alright? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grown folk talk, not for little years. Just me and my buds. My brothers and my sisters. Serious. Mm. No, watch out, I'm dealing with raw meat here. I'm preheating the oven to 425 is what it says for these. All right, Maze. No. Really, I gotta get something off my chest. And then can I come back? Yes, you can come back. Yeah. Anyways, I'm all for kids being in schools. I am. Believe me, I need a break. But for heaven's sakes, just the way they state, you know, for some kids, that's the only place they can be warm and the only place they can get food and the only place. And I, I believe that, and it's very unfortunate. And the mental ramifications it has on kids being away from school. I get it. But that's all they'll say. They won't give any detailed plan 
of what will happen when it comes in schools. Uh, our leader kind of was just, my husband used a good word, a solutionist. We're all pretty much going to be touched with it, so it is what it is, and to go along with it. But from my understanding, there's research done about there's COVID, and then there's long-term the the ramifications of having COVID long-term effects on some people and things I'm just I'm waiting for it to blow up honestly I like to think positive and but I just every answer that was given there was such a political answer no question was answered it was danced around using political words and brushing it off, fluffing around, not answering, and it's so friggin' frustrating. And on our government website live feed, they have the comments disabled. Not that I would comment anyways, but people can't even express themselves of the displeasure of how our government is handling things. And I don't know everything. I don't know a lot of things, but... I felt completely disrespected and unheard, even though I wasn't saying, well, I couldn't, unheard. I don't know whether there's an option to not go back and still get the work at home. What? No. No. I'll tell you when. How long Okay. Yeah, just hold on a second, but uh, you guys, I'll be right back. All right, there is that. I'm just waiting for the oven to come up to snuff. Yeah, I don't like to talk about political things or anything on my channel, whether I do this or that with a wiffle ball bat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think... the people leading this place are in touch with what is going on with or what people are living. Um, I'm kind of fortunate because I can be at home, but some people can't. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I am flabbergasted. And I know there's so many hardworking men and women out there in all capacities doing their utmost and I just felt like this is kind of a slap right smack dab in their face sometimes and I'm just like mm. yeah use your pretty words use your fluffy stuff use your you know you know better nasal cavities Believe me, I want to say a whole heck of a lot more, but this is not the medium for that because this is not what this channel is about. This is about sharing, living my life. I'm just a little ticked. That's a nice way to put it, but you can smell that in the air. These kebabs smell good, so it's masking it, but whoo, boy. Yeah, a storm's a-coming. She's a-coming. Mm. All right, that's still not up, but the... Egg rolls go in at the same temperature as those kebabs. So I'll go put them both in at the same time. <sighs> it's the pork ones. Um, and they're very good. They're from Costco. And they're not that expensive either. They come in two packages like this. I'll do one. I'll just do one pack for now. I don't mean to get all heated. Believe me. Just venting. Just let it go. Oh. I don't know. I just don't like smug smugness and dismissiveness. And yeah. I don't know. Just the sound of entitlement. I don't like it. So, oh, I'll do what's best for our family, and that's what I 
I can have some semblance of control over. There, so there's two, four, six, eight. Kara's not here right now, so there's Marquise, Mally, Maziah, Misha, Mays. I wonder if I should do... No, oh, Mays probably won't eat one of these. I'll just do one. All right, so these will both go in. I turn them halfway. That's uh, 20 minutes, I think it said. I put the packaging in the garbage. How long is this one? 19 to 20 minutes turning halfway. Yeah. I'll just put these back in the freezer like that, though, so it doesn't take up so much space. And this can go right in the fire. So there. I'll be back. I'm just getting some wood violet. You keep an eye on the fire. drafts open. I always keep that there so just in case it flies open for some mysterious reason. All right I'm just gonna sit here with Joe Violet just starting a book. Oh I got wood chips on me. I'm a rough ticket, rough ticket but I'm gonna wait for that buzzer to go off and I'll flip the things over take the bottom rat um pan, put it on the top, top on the bottom for another 10 minutes, and huh, hopefully they're done. And the rice is all cooked. It was Batsmati rice, so it's two cups of rice, three cups of water. Bring it to a boil. Throw a blob of butter in it, any spices that you might want. Put the cover on it, take it off the heat, and leave it for at least 20 minutes. Don't lift the lid or nothing. I did that, only I doubled it, because we won't eat all that rice tonight, but my kids like rice and we can use it tomorrow or the next day or whatever. So, and that's for Batsmati rice. So, so they're jumping around playing with the keyboard, but I'm just going to sit here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They're out. They're out. I haven't even lifted the top of this. It's still warm and it looks perfect. Perfect. We'll have enough for leftovers. You want to see it? It looks like grass. It's up white. It does look like grass, yeah. Oh, it looks like it's got in that. I just need to fluff it up a bit. I can't wait. Let's go. I'm hot. Yeah, it's 4.59 right on the nose. Well, you don't fly the clock. Set it up until 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's grub time. Grub time. So it's basically, yeah. Yeah, basically. But there's nothing basic about it. Oh, if I touch the skeleton, it's on. <laughs> Alright. I'll use a noodle grasper. Well, it's like a spaghetti spoon for long skinning the noodles to break them apart in the water. At least that's what I think it is. Chef Ramsay probably knows. Yeah, Chef Ramsay. Golden Ramsay. Wait, look at that one. It has like two things. 
<laughs> what are those two things look like? Pimples. Pimples, yeah. But show them to them. Well, maybe. Should I do two? Maybe I'll just do one for now. I don't like eggs. She's talking, here, he's talking about those two little, it's just, you know. Pimples? Yeah, pimples. <laughs> I'll give a blob of plum sauce. I'm not having ankles, I'm only having... I know you're not. Ah. Well, I might not have any rice, I might just have like... Three. You like rice, Mace. You I think know, rice is I... rather nice. I'll have three of those. Uh, this will be for Zaya. You might... Oh, well, but those two little things are breaking up into like... She might only want one of those things, so I'll ask her when she comes in. Can you go tell her it's supper time? And if she just wants one, I'll put that extra one on yours, okay? Zaya! Yeah, I didn't think he'd eat one of the egg rolls. Zaya! No, go. She's up in her room, Maze. He likes rice. Give him two if he doesn't want any of that. I think he likes soy sauce on his. I'll wait till he comes down. Mace said Misha's asleep out on the couch. I can, the floor, but I can still make her a plate. I'll go wait for her. She really likes rice. And she likes these, and she likes that, and that one can be Misha's. Zaya, do you want one kebab or two? Uh, two, okay. Oh, I should take a picture of yours. Just a second. <laughs> All right, yeah, so this one's Mazaya's. All right, guys, well, it's just after 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to head to bed. Violet is here with me. Oh, yeah, stretching. But, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow's a new day. I got some things to mull over. How about today's rant? But, yeah, I don't want to say a whole lot on here, but... It's just frustrating. Um, super high numbers compared to what we've ever had. There's severe illness in a few people, not a lot, but the ones that get sick, get sick. Um, there's no contract tracing anymore. And this strain is much more contagious. And we're putting the most vulnerable our children and well that that can't be completely responsible for themselves in regards to distancing and everything like that I just I don't understand to bring them to school to come back to potentially expose one another to their families I don't know I'm just on the fence. Yes, I want them to go back to school. I really, really do. But I really thought it was going to be another week or two just to see. But it might be for my kids another week or two. And I'll see if I can work from home with them. We'll see. I just... I, I'm i prone to pneumonia. Maze gets very sick when he gets sick. And I can't risk... I can't risk that. I can't risk that. So... I'm going to do what my heart tells me. I'm going to do what I feel is right for my family. And I just found today, all I could see was profit over people in that live thing. Profit over people. Profit over people. I know everybody's sick and tired of this. I know everybody's sick and tired of this. But profit over people. Yeah. Yeah. What's going to happen when it runs rampant and people have to self-isolate and they don't have enough staff for the schools? They said they have a plan for that. They wouldn't elaborate. 
What happens if that plan doesn't work? What happens if the kids get home and spread it to their moms and dads and they can't go to work? The ramifications could be worse. You don't know. And it could ultimately be absolutely disastrous depending on the person. So yes, most people don't get sick severely. But I don't want to risk my dad. I don't want to risk my baby boy. I don't want to risk any of my children, any of my family. I don't. I don't. So sit there with your smug faces. Use your words. Use your script that you go over and over. So profit over people. Great big dollar signs and robots. Use a script. Put the record on. And yeah, that's all I'll say about it. That's all I'll say about it. <laughs> I know we're all, probably, most of us are all in the same boat, but I just can't chance it. I can't. I know my kids are going to be disappointed if I do that, but I, I'm going to, I might sit back and just see if we can work from home for another week anyways, just to see, just to see. So anyways, that's all. Tomorrow's a new day. Let's start fresh tomorrow. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So yeah, oh, I could rant about this in great detail. I'll say one more thing. The words that they use are heart, heart punches. Yes, absolutely. Those for schools to be a solace for some children. But what about the social programs in the communities where you guys should have been? These programs are crying for the government's attention because these are the needs of our people. And you can't spare it there. And you put that pressure on the teachers in the school system. And... Yeah, the supports on the families. It should go to the supports on the families. Yeah, okay, I need to stop because I'm going to get raging. Raging. <sighs> Rage. So, and that's not a good feeling. But yeah, I want what's best for my children, for all the children, for all the families, and I can only do what I can do. So, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink. Just another little note. I came upstairs. This was folded up outside my door on the floor. From Mays to Mom. And he drew me a sloth. Isn't that adorable? Oh, Mays. Cutie pie.